tenth, two thousand and twenty one. Romans chapter eleven. I say then, had God cast away his people? God forbid, for I also am I as an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. God had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. Wot ye not what the scripture said of Eliza, how he make it intercession to God against Israel, saying, Lord, they have killed thy prophets and dig down thine altars, and I am left alone, and they seek my life. But what said the answer of God unto him? I have reserved to myself to myself seven hundred men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. Even so, then, at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the ele election of grace. And if by grace, then there is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then is it no more grace? Otherwise, work is no more work. What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeked for, but the election had obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, God had given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David said, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling block, and a recomfort unto them. Let their eyes be darkened, that they may not see, and bow down their back away alway. I say then, have they stumbled, that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy. Now if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness? For I speak to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office, mine office. If by any means I may provoke to emulation them which are my flesh, and I might save some of them. For I, for if I, the casting away of them be the reconciling of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from death, the death? For if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy. And if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, and though being a wild olive tree, we are grafted in among them, and with them partakest of the root and fatness of the olive tree, boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee, they will then, the branches were broken off, that I might be grafted in. Well, because of unbelief, they were broken off, and thou standest by faith. Be not high-minded, but fear. For if God spared not the natural branches, take heed, lest he also spared not thee. Behold, therefore, the goddess and severity of God on them which fell, severity but toward thee goodness. If thou continue in his goodness, Otherwise, thou also shalt be cut off. And they also, if they abide not still in belief, shall be grafted in. For God is able to graft them in again. For if thou were cut out of the olive tree, which is wild by nature, and were grafted contrary to nature into a good olive tree, how much more shall these which be 
the olive natural branches be grafted into their own olive trees. For I would not, brethren, that ye should be ignorant of this mystery, lest ye should be wise in your own conceit, that blindness in part is happened to Israel, until the fullness of the Gentiles he can't come in. And so all Israel shall be saved. As it is written, there shall come out of Zion the Deliverer, and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant unto them, when I shall take away their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies of for your sakes, but as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes, for the gifts and calling of God are without repentance. For as ye in times past have not believed God, yet have now obtained mercy through their unbelief, even so have these also now now believed, that through your mercy they also may obtain mercy. For God had concluded them all in unbelief, that he might have mercy upon all. All the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. For who had known the mind of the Lord, or who had been his counselor, or who had first given to him, and it shall be recompensed unto him again again for for of him and through him and to him are all things to whom be glory forever amen